All right, looking at our classwork for today, um, we are going to look at our first do, do now. Uh, what is the formula for the circumfer circumference of a circle? Um, this is something that we should just have memorized. Uh, we know that c is equal to pi d. We also know that we can replace the d with, uh, with 2 times the radius, pi times 2r. Um, so we know that's an option as well, but none of the rest of these are correct because r squared is not the same thing as 2 times r. What is the formula for the area of a circle? Um, that's pi times radius squared. That's again something that we should have memorized at this point, and we need to use these formulas over and over and over again. It says a circle has a diameter of 4. What is the circumference of a circle? Uh, so a quick sketch of this is a circle with a diameter of 4. Our circumference is equal to pi times d, so that means our circumference is pi times 4, or 4 pi. That's answer choice B. And finally, we have a circle with a diameter of 4, so same circle, diameter of 4. This is what is the area of the circle. Area of a circle is equal to pi times radius squared which would be pi times, in this case, the diameter is equal to 4, so the radius is equal to 2. So pi times 2 squared, which is going to be pi times 4, which is 4 pi. So we can actually see it gets the same answer in, on your, these are actually labeled correctly as areas, and ABC. Uh, so we get answer choice F. So we can see that in this particular problem, they happen to be the same. That's not going to be the case always. In fact, this is pretty much the only number that it's going to be the same because this is the only time where the radius 2 squared is going to be the same thing as 2 times the radius, which is the diameter. Right? All right, let's flip on over and look at our aim for today. Today's aim, Kipsters will be able to find the area of partial circles. So we're going to start with a little bit of an exercise here. Um, we're going to go one step at a time, so you and your team should be able to do these problems independently and then check back in with the video once you've figured each of them out. Um, that's kind of going through these first uh, four pieces, and then hopefully that'll get you set up pretty quickly to be able to do the rest. All right, so it says dry circle with a diameter of 12 and a square with a side length of 12 on grid paper. Uh, determine the area and the square of the circle. So you've kind of got a grid in the back of your paper, so that's why we're going to use that. So, so go ahead and draw a sketch, and go ahead and find the area of each. So again, this is a place where you and your team need to stop the video and work uh, independently to go ahead and quickly do this. All right, as a quick check-in, um, you should have your sketches drawn like this, um, area of your circle is going to be pi times radius squared, so the radius is 6 if the diameter is 12. Um, and we have a square um, where the base times height is going to be 12 and 12, so we get 144 centimeters squared. All right, move on to the next one. It says find the area of half of the square and half of the circle. Explain to a partner how you arrived at your answer. So go ahead and um, have that conversation amongst your group. Um, and find your solution. Alright, thinking through this with your partners, hopefully you came up with 18 pi and 72 as your halves. Um, so one way to think about this is to think about this as well. We had the area and now we have half of that area because we basically folded it in half or cut off half of it. Um, that means we divided the area into two. Um, so um, Using that idea, this is similar to the idea that we used when we were finding the circumferences of half of a circle and the circumferences of parts of a circle as well. Go ahead and move down. The next one says find one-fourth of the square 
um, and one fourth of the area of the circle. Go ahead and do that on your own. Pause the video. All right, again, we should have come up with 9 pi, that'd be 1 fourth, and 36, which would be 1 fourth of 144. So coming up here, now we're being asked to, I want you to write a general expression that will express the area of a semicircle and the area of a quarter circle. So if you don't know what the radius diameter is, what would you do, what would you write as a general expression to find the area of a semicircle in the area of a quarter circle. Go ahead and pause and discuss that with your group and go ahead and make sure that you guys have a single answer for the whole group. So if we're talking about a semicircle, that means we're talking about half of a circle. So the area of half of a circle is going to be half of the area of a circle, which is going to be half of pi times radius squared. We're looking for a quarter circle that is one fourth of the circle, so the area would be one fourth of pi times radius squared. And we can use these expressions to find the area of these partial circles over and over and over again. So this one down here says, what is the area of a quarter of a circle? Um, so we're told that the radius of this quarter circle is six centimeters. Um, so we have one-fourth of the area of a total circle, which is one-fourth of pi times radius squared. It's going to be one-fourth of pi times the radius, which is six squared. So that's one-fourth, and again, remember six squared, that's not six times two, that's six times six times pi times thirty-six. Rearranging my terms, 1 fourth times 36 times pi. This is going to be equal to 9 pi. All right, this one says find the area of the following semicircle. So this one we have to be careful. We're given the diameter here, and when we're dealing with our area formulas, all of our area formulas use the radius. So I find the radius here is 7. Find the area of the semicircle. Okay, so the area of a semicircle is going to be half of the area of a circle. So half of pi times radius squared. And so that's going to be half of pi times 7 squared. It tells us to use, to use pi is equal to 22 over 7. So I can do this as 1 half times 22 over 7 times 7 squared is going to be 49. So I can think about that as 49 over 1. And there's a couple different ways we could go about doing this math. We can multiply top times top times top. So 1 times 22 times 49, um, and 2 times 7 times 1, and that would give me some large number over 14. Uh, we can also cross-cancel, so this would be cross-canceling 2 would give me 11. Cross-canceling this would give me 7 um, and 7 here. So we'd actually end up with just 7 times 11, which is... 77 centimeters squared. Do the same thing um, by doing this multiplication. Uh, 22 times 49 is equal to 1,078. And dividing by 14 would give us 77 as well. So same, same result there. All right, so find the area of a semicircle with a diameter of 42, use 22 over 7. So go ahead and draw a sketch um, and see if you can't do this one on your own. All right, quickly walking through this, uh, we see that the area is half of the area of a circle because we're talking about a semicircle. Um, so that's one half times pi r squared. Um, so that's one half of pi times twenty one squared. 
Going ahead and doing the 21 squared, I get 441. I plugged in 22 over 7 for my pi like it asked me to. And I multiply top times top times top. That gave me 9,702. Bottom times bottom times bottom gave me 14. 9,702 divided by 14 gives me 693 centimeters squared. All right, flip on over to the other side. You've got a few problems to work out on your own. All right, you and your team should be able to complete these problems all on your own um, without any extra support from me. Um, so go ahead and finish all the problems. Um, if you want to, you can finish one problem, then check in. Finish another problem, then check in. Finish another problem, then check in. As I will kind of set up the rest of this video as really more of a check on your work than it is as a lesson. All right, quick check on this one. We have half of the area of a semicircle, so half of the area of a regular circle, half of pi r squared. Our radius is 20, so 20 squared is 400, so half of 400 times pi would be 200 pi. Make sure that you've gone ahead and you've done the next one as well before you go ahead and watch the rest of the video. Here we see we have the a third of the area of a circle, um, so we're looking at this, so this is one third. Um, one third pi r squared is going to be our expression for this. Our radius is 15, so I'm putting in 15. 15 squared is 225, and then one third. And just to make sure that we're on the same page here, I think a lot of people have trouble with putting this one in the calculator. One third is the same thing as dividing by three. So multiplying by one third is the same thing as dividing by three. If it helps, you can put it as top times top and bottom times bottom and you'll see that it ends up being the same thing as dividing by three. All right, make sure you've got the next one done before you move on. All right, with this one, we have to be really careful here. It tells us that the diameter is 12. Um, in order to use area formula, we need to know the radius. The radius is six. So this is one fourth of pi times radius squared, one fourth pi times six squared, which is one fourth pi times 36, and one fourth times 36 is going to give me 9 pi, 9 pi centimeters squared. And again, the last one, make sure that this one's done before you check back in with the video. All right, so looking at this, we have the area of the semicircle, diameter of 32. Once again, diameter, we need to find the radius in order to find the area. This is going to be half of pi r squared. 1 half of pi times 16 squared, half of pi times 256, half of 256 is not 128, not 228, 128 centimeter, 128 pi centimeter squared. All right, and coming over these last two problems, make sure that you've done both of these problems before you move on with the video to check your answer. All right, so looking at this problem, Again, we have to be careful. We're given the diameter, so we need to know the radius. The radius would be 2.5. Um, the other common mistake, I think, is once we get this all plugged in, is making sure that we're thinking about order of operations. We have to do this exponent first. Okay, That's why we're doing the 2.5 squared first. It gives me 625. A lot of times people will go through and maybe they'll try and do all the multiplications, then multiply by 2, uh, then multiply by um, itself, Okay, need to go through, do the exponent first, then we go through and do the multiplications. All right, last problem, make sure that you've got this one figured out, and then check in. And finally, looking at this one, we see the shaded area is one-fourth of a circle, so I've used one-fourth the area of the circle, one-fourth of pi times radius squared. The radius here is labeled as 12, so one-fourth of pi times 12 squared, one-fourth of, I put 22 over 7, and for pi, like it asked me to, 12 squared gives me 144. Top times top times top gives me 300 or 3,168. And bottom times bottom times bottom gives me 28. Doing that division, I get approximately, and this is a rounded answer, 113 and 0.14 square inches. All right, go ahead and move on to your alone time. Once you're done with your alone time, uh, please go ahead and move on. Get some work done on Khan.